good day or good evening, whatever be your timing. Welcome to the world of no life in the Minecraft universe. I hope you've had, having or going to have a great day. Today I'm going to take you through a monumental terraforming task. As the title suggests, I'm building a river. From here, which is here, to here, which is here which is going to span almost 300 blocks and most definitely isn't going to be straight. I'm going to mark out where it's going off camera. Shouldn't take too long, he says. That dotted line you see across your screen is where the river's going. A brilliant use of that excess red concrete from last episode. The water level in this game is at 62. The depth of the river is going to be about six levels. That's a lot of ground to shift. There's only one thing to do, and that's to shovel up and get digging. It's time lapse time. <laughs> Phantom was after me, and then decided on an easier target. No matter, I've just got one more layer to do after this one, and then I shall get rid of these stink lines, as I could do with a few more totems. It's break time! There's one down. Oh. I love a bit of flame. Just on the old one. Take two. Stage three. Stage four. And one of you down. Ooh, I'll have some twinkly dust. Stage five. Six. You'll be killed. No, you won't. You'll take two. You'll be killed by fire. Dead. Stage seven. 
Blimey, you came close. For all of that, let's get back to the digging. seven hours i think next episode it is time to fight the wither for the first time in this no life world that is get me a beacon for future digging projects and there are a couple more digging projects i want to do anyway with this chasm now dug out how hard is it to uh, steer a person in this camera angle absolutely crazy it's time to bank out the edges. <laughs> it's all banked out. Now to make it pretty. And that includes the riverbed below. I'm going to use a combination of various brown blocks and a couple of others. We'll just uh, jump into the inventory here. So we've got some coarse dirt, some obviously grass dirt that I'm going to turn into path blocks. Some generic dirt. I've uh, got some brown wool and green wool just to mix things up and some jack-o'-lanterns and that's what I'm going to use to light the area. Got some carpets to pop on top of them and I'm also going to texture the land with some of them carpets. For the riverbed, obviously we're going to use some cobble cobblestone stairs and some uh, cobblestone and some slabs as well. Also got a spot of gravel that I'm going to jump and jump into there. Loads and loads of sandies going in the bottom. Oh yes, and just to say, got some brown concrete powder for the banks as well. How exciting this is. I have relayed down these red blocks here. They are going to resemble a pathway that's going to be in here. I am going to need to level off the terrain somewhat. I'm not liking these giant hills and all that. So I am going to uh, bring it all to a, a steady slope all the way up to the river here. You'll see over this one here, there is going to be a bridge in. That bridge there is going to link up the mine this position here is going to be a nice bridge that links up my mountain project and my ice farm just up there and i'm going to put a bridge just over this way to link up the zombie farm that is just behind that mountain there i did originally want to be using brown mushroom blocks also in the riverbed project but for some reason it looks like frog spawn at the moment no matter how many times you silk touch them giant brown mushrooms Fingers crossed they'll do something with that in the update. I do hope so. There's only one thing to do now and that's to get this all prettied on up. I'll be back once that is done. After many, many hours, I have finally completed this river transformation and it is ready for some water. I completed this river project in a couple of Twitch streams. I thought I'd give it a go. We also deforest my raid town. Started on the pathways, linking everything together. I sloped off the terrain and we enjoyed ourselves in a few raids. Shameless plugin, twitch.tv slash little joe show. I've got my buckets at the ready and I'm up to my eyeballs in ice. I love the qualities of instant mining ice. Whoa. There's only one thing to do now. <laughs>
so oh my goodness how hard is it to place some nice easy water sources without all these lines happening and since when could you not break a block of ice let it not make water it works when you put it on the floor look at that water source take that one away no water source what's going on I'm going to try using some kelp. Fingers crossed that will help the situation along. The kelp helps. But I'm not going to time lapse it. I'll give you a picture every so often. But there is not a chance that Shokambro is going to last up there without being attacked by a phantom. Phil. 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 Filling. Phil. Get in there. Filling. Phil. Phil. Filling. Phil. Phil, filling, Phil, Phil, filling, Phil, filling, 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 more filling. The river is full. Oh yes, finally got there. There's only a couple more things to get done now. First up, we've got to stick some vegetation in the water and on the banks. And then we can finally get started on these beautiful, beautiful bridges. Ooh. I'm going to light up the riverbed with some pickles as it's giving me a perfect reason to turn this contraption on. Oh, look at all them pickles being made. Crazy pickles. You join me at the bottom of a riverbed. Oh, yes, you do. Now, for some reason, I really did think that grass does not grow underwater, but it seems to spread, as you've just seen there. So I'm going to have to swap all of this grass and put dirt in its place. As seagrass doesn't grow on grass underwater, it just consumes the bone meal. So I'm going to stop doing that. I've got plenty of sea pickles to stop any unwanted mob spawns. I've got a lot of kelp. I've got lily pads. And I've got plenty of bone meal to spread that seagrass about. I may go off and get some of them corals. But you'll see that once I've all done. For the bank, I'm thinking of getting some crops on the grow. Sugar cane along the sides. Some vines just to add a bit more greenery. Some, some of that long grass. That'll look quite cool. And obviously, got to mix in some flowers in with that. There it is, all vegetated up. An excessive amount of bone meal was used. Yes, I have a diamond hoe. But what else are you going to do with all the diamonds you dig up in a single player world? I'm going to put some trees in along the sides of the river. But first, I need to get the pathway sorted. But that is for another video. The only time we've got now is to build the bridges. As the nether update is coming out very, very soon. Blocks of choice. Andesite, stairs and slabs, stone bricks, mossy as well as unmossy, stairs and slabs, regular stone, stairs and slabs, cobblestone, stairs and slabs, mossy cobblestone, stairs and slabs, and the walls of choice are going to be mossy cobblestone and mossy stone brick walls. Maybe a bit of non-mossy mixed up between that. Let's get on with the final time lapse of this video. One diagonal bridge down, I'm going to continue with the second and then the third straight bridge off camera. Only one thing for it now, and that is the showcase.
What do you think? A lot of effort went into this. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to finish all three bridges and get this video out before 1.16's arrival. It is time to update the map. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more, do not hesitate to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.